And now our tail of the tape for this flyweight tilt. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, playing out of the blue corner, Superman. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Alex Perez! You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. All right, early round action here as we get another look at Alex Perez. Injuries have been a part of the narrative of late. There have been some issues on the scale as well. And his championship opportunity against Davidson Figueroa back in 2020 didn't last more than two minutes. Safe to say that the hunger still burns for one Alex Perez. And when he's on, he's as talented and versatile as any flyweight in this division. Outstanding wrestling base, very good with the hands, and a real threat. He'll try to prove his much here in this matchup. Perez going for the takedown here, but he misses. Is right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice body kick there. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, big left. Big knee. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Gotta capitalize on those opportunities. Oh. He's hurting bad here. Oh! This is the way he came to be in the building. Back and forth we go. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the red. Oh, he is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. This is such a crazy fight. Good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Leg kick. Oh, you man, is how we're doing here. All right, he's been very clean with his hooks on the feet here tonight, and it's the way he set it up that has really impressed you. Yeah, it's very impressive to see him pop the jab, pop the right hand, just touch, 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 and then boom, sit down on that hook. He's going to be trying to find it again. You can see him setting up on the hook, trying to get the hands to drop so he can drop that hook over the top. Takedown defense holds up. Fighters separate from the clinch now. That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. You have to play back. What right. a start. What a round it was for him, DC. And of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round. How does he deal with the success that he had and not push too hard too early trying to find the finish? You have to let it come to you as the knockdown came to you in the previous round. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Second round underway. Well, an appreciative capacity crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. That previous round, I mean, get the bonus checks ready. That was insane. It's done. These guys are getting all the $15,000. They laid it all on the line. They dropped the quarter in the middle of the octagon, <laughs> and they said, let's go. What a round. I'm spamming leg kicks if I'm playing the game. Perez 
his lower jaw does not have a huge strike right there. I'm not sure. Head kick gets in there. Takedown defense is there. That was a big check. Well, at times he's tried to check kicks, but he has not been effective in doing so. And now he's starting to limp a little bit. He's starting to limp from those leg kicks. He's showing that it's hurting. That's a, that's a big sign. Great ground strikes here. Oh, going for the arm bar now. That might be tight. Oh, he's got the arm bar deep. Oh, he got out again. He got out again. This guy just keeps on fighting off submission after right. submission. Two rounds in the books. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the fighter's got a cut on his lip. Not necessarily a Robbie Lawler lip opening, if you know what I'm talking about, but certainly something that could be a source of adversity here moving forward. Cut man in there quickly to try to shore it up. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go, third and final round. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Low kick is there. 
Nice kick there by Perez. Another kick now land. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Wow, all things considered, pretty good shot from bottom position. Perez is looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. And there you go, again, half guard. We're getting the ball here. One minute to go. Oh, oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. Usual suffocating work from the top here by Perez. Another strike gets through from the top position. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down into the ground. What a fight. Judges' scorecards will be needed tonight as we go the full 15 minutes. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner, by split decision, Alex Perez! All right, well, congratulations to him there. And I think five years from now, they'll forget that <laughs> it was a split and not a unanimous decision. But that was a close fight. I mean, that was a very close fight. And that's the most uncomfortable decision in the world to walk to the center not knowing if he did enough to get the job done. Fortunately, he did enough and he got the victory.